This is Nick with logosbynick.com and in this tutorial I'll be demonstrating how you can remove a white background or any kind of background for that matter from an image or an object with Adobe Illustrator. So I'll get started here in Illustrator. As you notice here I have my example image. If I click and drag this off of the canvas you'll see it has a white background like that. What I'm going to do to get rid of that white background is I'm going to create a an object with the pen tool that I use as a clipping mask. Now let me show you how to do that. Before we get started, just come up here to where it says view. Make sure you have nothing selected here. I think by default it chooses snap to pixel and smart guides. Those two things, although they're useful, they would get, they're going to get in our way with what we're doing here. So make sure you have everything disabled here. So just go ahead and click on that if it has a check mark next to it to disable it. And now what I want to do is I just want to take the opacity of this and bring this down a little bit so I can see through it as I'm working with it. And now I'm going to zoom in on this object over here by holding Alt and rolling up the mouse wheel. And if you want to move the page around, you can just press down on your space bar and then click and drag like that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the pen tool and I'm going to start tracing an object going around the edges or the perimeter of this object that I want to crop out from the white background there. So I'm going to click to create a point right in the corner here. Let me move up like this. I'm going to hold Shift to bring this line straight up like that. And if you want to lock it onto the vertical axis, you can hold shift and it locks it right in place. Let me zoom in a little bit. I'm going to click just short of that rounded corner because we do have a rounded corner there. And then I want to come over here and click and drag and then hold shift and bring this line out like that. And now if you notice here, we have like a white fill getting in the way. So what I want to do is I just want to click this red X right here to get rid of that. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to press enter on the keyboard to end that curve. And I'm going to click on this line again. Let me zoom out a little bit. And again, hold shift, bring this all the way across like this, like that. Same thing over here. Click and drag like that. Press enter to end it and then start back to where you were. Down to here like this. I have a tutorial about how to use the pen tool if you want to check that out. I'll link that in the description of the video. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go through and finish tracing my object over here and I will continue on when I'm finished. And once you're finished up, once you get to the point where you're ready to finish the shape, all you have to do is click on the, the, your uh, starting point over here and that'll close the path like that. And it may be difficult to see with the example image I'm using, but if you come back to the select tool, you can click and drag on this object to see, oops, you can see that I've clearly created a custom object in the shape of the, uh, of the uh, photo there. So let me undo that to put that back. Let me click on this. First of all, let me click on the image and bring the opacity back up. What I want to do now is click on the object that I just created, then hold shift and click on the image and go to object, clipping mask, make. And if you notice there, the, uh, the white background is now gone. So what we have to do now is save this image and finalize it so that we can use it as we'd like. To do that, I'm going to grab the artboard tool, which is over here. Click on our image to create a new artboard going around your uh, object here. This is pretty much the document size. This is what we're, we're going to export this as a PNG image and we're going to tell Illustrator that this needs to be the size. This, is need, this needs to be the boundaries of this uh, document that we create because otherwise this is the boundary over here, our old artboard. So we want to get rid of that by clicking on this little X in the top right corner and there we go. Now let me go back to the select tool to get rid of that. All we have to do now is go to file, export, and go to export for screens. And right here where it says artboard number two, go ahead and name that whatever you want this file to be named. I'm going to name this screens. And go ahead and choose your folder where you would like for it to be located. I'm just going to place it in this folder here. And over here you could choose what type of format you'd like to use. If you want to maintain that transparent background, make sure to use uh, PNG. Use a 1x scale, no suffix. You could add other formats if you'd like or you could remove them by pressing the X right there. I just want to export a PNG with a transparent background. So I'm going to go ahead and click Export Artboard. And I have, the, I have the folder opened on my other screen here but I'll open it up for you. As you can see there is the image that I have cropped out. I have removed that white background with Adobe Illustrator. So that's how you can go about removing white backgrounds or any background for that matter with Illustrator. If you have any questions let me know and as always thanks for watching.